Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making some turkey meatballs. So for this recipe, I'm using three packs of ground turkey and each pack is 454 grams. I usually eat about 100 to 200 grams of meat with each of my meals. So um, this will last me probably five to six meals. So we'll see how much I can get out of this one. So I'm going to start off with chopping some onions. And I'm going to be using some mini peppers. I like to get these ones because then I can use them in the morning to make my omelets. I'll use about six of them. Now it's time to add the mince meat minced turkey in this case and this one is it's um it was on sale at the grocery store but i'm cooking it with before the expiry date so i always remember to to check that out as well so that's it there and I'm just gonna put a little bit of seasoning in it. I don't like to use a lot of salt, especially when I'm on a cut, so. About a half a tablespoon of salt. Some of this Miss Dash garlic and herb seasoning. Frank's red hot, extra hot sauce. Cause I usually um, like to have the meat be pretty spicy. And then I use one egg just to make everything stick. Now we just mix everything up. And remember with minced meats, um, especially minced turkey, I feel like it doesn't keep the shape pretty good. So don't mix it up too much or it's just gonna be a mushy mess. I'm just doing the motion where I'm taking from the bottom and folding on the top. Look at the bottom, make sure that you don't have any more of those vegetables stuck on the bottom. And again, you can do this with any type of meat. You can do it with turkey, chicken, beef. I don't eat pork, but you probably could do it with pork as well. I like to use these so I can keep the shape um, pretty good. So I just put a bit of oil at the bottom so they don't stick. Since I'm meal prepping, I have my scale with me. I just put a plate on and tear it. Make sure that everything's zero. And then since 454, I have three things of 454. So that puts me around 12, 1350. So I'm gonna portion out around 200 per serving or i'll go with them um, about 60 per serving so that i can just make my my balls right away so that's 58 and i just take it and i'm molding it into the shape that i need it to be which is kind of um 
a little ball. And some of the, the veggies stick out. That's okay, just squish it in. So each of my servings, I want it to be around 60. And I usually take about four of them per meal. And if it's a little bit, if it's a little bit um, more or less, that's okay because we just want to make sure that we're around the same, the same um, mass for all of these balls. And I think for um, when you're on your cut, when you first start out, it's good to weigh all your food until you understand and you get a feel for the correct portions. Because um, up to this day, I still weigh my food. I, I don't care if it takes me a little longer to get stuff ready, but at least I know exactly or roughly around how much of each thing I'm eating for the day. So this is all I have that can fit into these little pans. Now, one thing about cooking this, depending on the type of meat you use, the oils will start to seep out of the meat once you start to cook them. So you need to be mindful that it doesn't overflow into the bottom of the oven. So we're gonna place this in the oven. If it does start to overflow, I would just take these out and put them in a flat surface pan individually because by then, the structure of the meatball is gonna be set in already. So just keep an eye on it for the first 10 to 15 minutes so that we're not causing any grease fire in the oven.